हेलो डियर स्टूडेंट्स आई होप यू ऑल आर फाइन स्टैंडर्ड फिफ्थ सब्जेक्ट मैथमेटिक्स स्टूडेंट्स नाउ वी विल कंटिन्यू चैप्टर फोर मल्टीप्लीकेशन एंड डिविजन स्टूडेंट्स इन लास्ट वीडियो वी लर्न अबाउट डिविजन नाउ वी विल सॉल्व वर्ड प्रॉब्लम्स ऑफ डिविजन फ्रॉम मैथ्स टेक्सट बुक प्रॉब्लम सेट फिफ्टीन क्वेश्चन नंबर टू हाउ मेनी आवर्स विल इट टेक टू ट्रेवल थ्री हंड्रेड थर्टी सिक्स किलोमीटर इट द स्पीड ऑफ फोर्टी एट किलोमीटर पर आवर इन दिस क्वेश्चन डिस्टेंस एंड स्पीड आर गिवन वी हैव टू फाइंड टाइम टू टेकन टू ट्रेवल नाउ वी विल सॉल्व द क्वेश्चन सॉल्यूशन डिस्टेंस इज इक्वल टू थ्री हंड्रेड एंड थर्टी सिक्स किलोमीटर स्पीड इज इक्वल टू फोर्टी एट किलोमीटर पर आवर एंड टू फाइंड आउट टाइम एंड द टाइम इज इक्वल टू डिस्टेंस डिवाइड बाय स्पीड थ्री हंड्रेड थर्टी सिक्स किलोमीटर डिवाइडेड बाय फोर्टी एट थ्री थर्टी सिक्स इज डिविडेंट एंड फोर्टी एट डिवाइजर नाउ वी स्टार्ट टू डिवाइड थ्री थर्टी सिक्स बाय फोर्टी एट फर्स्ट नंबर ऑफ डिविडेंट इज थ्री एंड थ्री इज लेस देन ऑफ फोर्टी एट सो थ्री इज नॉट डिवाइडेड बाय फोर्टी एट नाउ टेक द थर्टी थ्री थर्टी थ्री ऑल्सो लेस देन फोर्टी एट सो वी टेक थ्री थ्री सिक्स टूगेदर डेट इज नंबर इज थ्री हंड्रेड थर्टी सिक्स नाउ वी विल डिवाइडेड थ्री हंड्रेड थर्टी सिक्स बाय फोर्टी एट Now see the table of forty-eight. Forty-eight sevens are three hundred and thirty-six. Hence, seven we write seven eight quotient place and three thirty-six as it is. Three thirty-six minus three thirty-six is zero. So quotient is seven and remainder is zero. Our answer is it will take seven hours. क्वेश्चन नंबर थ्री गिरिजा नीडेड थर्टी फाइव कार्टन्स टू पेक फोर्टीन हंड्रेड बुक्स देयर आर एन इक्वल नंबर ऑफ बुक्स इन एवरी कार्टन हाउ मेनी बुक्स डिड शी पे पेक इन टू इच कार्टन नाउ सी इन दिस क्वेश्चन देयर आर फोर्टीन हंड्रेड बुक्स इन थर्टी फाइव कार्टन्स फाइंड द नंबर ऑफ बुक्स इन इच कार्टन Such that the number of books in each carton is equal. Now we will solve the question. Solution: Total number of books are fourteen hundred. Number of cartons are thirty-five. Number of books in each carton is equal to fourteen hundred divided by thirty-five. Let us start with division. Fourteen hundred is dividend and thirty-five is divisor. First number of dividend is one, and that is not divisible by thirty-five. Now take fourteen. Fourteen is less than thirty-five, so not divisible by thirty-five. So we take one hundred and forty. Now see the table of thirty-five. Thirty-five four is one hundred and forty. So we write four at the quotient place and one hundred. Forty minus one hundred forty is zero. Last digit of dividend is zero, so bring down zero and write zero at the quotient place after four. Now our quotient is forty and remainder is zero. So the answer is Giriza pays forty books in each carton. Question number four. The contribution for a picnic was sixty-five rupees each. Altogether, two thousand nine hundred twenty-five rupees were collected. How many had paid for the picnic? Now, in this question, the total amount collected is two thousand nine hundred and twenty-five rupees. Each person contributed rupees sixty-five. Now, we have to find out number of persons. to contribute the money for a picnic 
Now solution. Contribution by each person for picnic is 65 rupees. Total contribution is 2925 rupees. Number of persons paid money is equal to 2925 divided by 65. 2925 is dividend and 65 is divisor. Now let us start division. First digit of dividend is 2 and 2 is not divisible by 65. So we take 29, 29 also not divisible by 65. So we take 2, 292. Now see the table of 65. Here is 292. No, in this table there is no 292. So we take the number which is nearby. 292 or less than 292 that is 260 so 65 fours are 260 so we write 4 at quotient place and 292 minus 260 now subtract the numbers after subtraction we get 32 bring down 5 now number is 325 65 5 is 325. So we write 5 at the quotient place after 4 and 325 minus 325 is 0. So quotient is 45 and remainder is 0. So answer is 45 percent speed for the picnic. Question number 5. Which number on being multiplied by 56 gives a product of 9688 in this question we will find out the number which is multiplied by 56 and gets 9688 now start the solution 9688 divided by 56 now the first two digits of Dividend is 96 and 96 come in the table of 56? No. So, we take the nearest or less than number of 96 that is the 56. 56 ones are 56. So, we write 1 at the quotient place and 96 minus 56. After su subtraction, we get 40. Now bring down 8. Now the number is 408. 8. Check the table. 408 is not in the table of 56. So we take the place or nearby number that is 392. 56 7 is 392. So we write 7 after the 1 at the quotient place. And 408 minus 392, we get 16. Now bring down the last digit that is 8. The number is 168. Now see the table 56, 3 is 168. So we write 3 at the quotient place after 17 and the 168 minus 168 is 0. So, quotient is 173 and remainder is 0. So, which number we multiplied by 56 and get the product 9688? The number is 173. So, our answer is 173. Question number 6. If 48 sheets are required for making one notebook, how many notebooks at the most will 5880 sheets make and how many sheets will be left over? In this question, one notebook is made by 48 sheets. So, how many notebooks are made by 5880 sheets and after that how many sheets are left 
Now let's solve. Total number of sheets is equal to 5880. Sheets in one notebook is equal to 48. Number of notebooks made by total sheets. So we make division 5880 divided by 48. The method of division is same which we have already studied in previous questions. So uh, now after the division we get the quotient 122 and remainder is 24. So answer is 122 notebooks can be made and 24 sheets left over. Question number 7. What will the quotient be when the smallest 5 digit number is divided by the smallest 4 digit number? Students, all of you know smallest 5 digit number and smallest 4 digit number. Now let us solve the question. First we write smallest 5 digit number that is 10,000 and smallest 4 digit number is 1000. 10,000 divided by 1000. This division is very simple. 1000 vanja, 1000. So write 1 at quotient place and 1000 minus 1000 we get 0. And the last digit of dividend is 0. So we bring down 0 and write 0 at quotient place after 1. So, after the division, we get the quotient is 10. I hope all of you understood the word problems of division. Thank you students.